Hi there and welcome to Hyundai Power Equipment. My name's Adrian and today we're going to look at the Hyundai HYM 510 SP lawnmower. Okay, let's get straight on with it. I've removed the mower from all its packaging and placed everything here on the table so you can see exactly what's in your box. First of all, you've got the lawnmower itself with its handle folded on top. A little bit of assembly needed with this, I shall show you that shortly. The next thing is your 70 meter grass catcher your mulching plug with the handle, your side discharge chute, your user's manual, a quick start guide, and your Hyundai warranty registration form. Now there are a few ways that you can register your warranty, um, but I strongly recommend that you do register it. Um, everything is explained on how to do it on this sheet. And that's the contents of your packaging. The first step for assembling the handle is to remove the four hand wheels, washers and bolts. Now there's a hand wheel, washer and bolt here, here and exactly the same on this side. So let's remove them first. Off with the black plastic hand wheel, off with the washer, out with the bolt, and we'll place that there for later. Send this end, and the same on my side over here. And that's the four bolts removed. When moving the handle into position, it's very important not to trap or twist any of the control cables. So carefully lift the top handle and the lower handle as one, being sure not to trap any of the cables along the way. Into somewhere like this position here. The next step is putting the lower bolt through the lower hole here, from the outside in, through the tube, through the black bracket, on with the washer on the inside, and on with one of the plastic nuts. Okay, that's one done. Exactly the same on the other side, from the outside in, then on with the washer, and then on with the little hand wheel. That's the first step. The second step, a very similar operation. Be careful not to trap any of the cables. Up with the handle, into position there. Same on this side from the inside out through the hole, on with the washer, and on with the plastic nut. Where's my last one? And then an exactly the same repeat operation on this side. Line up the two holes, bolt through from the inside out, on with the washer, and on with a plastic nut. And that is the handle assembled. Little job that needs to be done is for the pull starter handle to be fed into the little pigtail loop here. I'll give you a close-up shot on how you thread it through this hole, but a little safety thing I would uh, advise here is to remove the spark plug cap. Um, that will mean that there's absolutely no chance of the lawnmower starting. Now it's useful to be able to know how to do this because if you were changing the blade and you rotated it whilst loosening the nut or what have you, there is absolutely no chance that the lawnmower can start if you've removed the spark plug cap. So it's a handy to thing to know and I'd recommend that you do it and learn how to do it at this stage. The spark plug and cap are located here on the front of the engine. To remove it, pull it off gently and tuck it to one side. In this state, there is absolutely no way that the engine can start accidentally. To replace the cap, 
simply put it back down over the ceramic of the spark plug and give it a push until it clicks. And that's how to remove and replace the spark plug cap. So having removed the spark plug cap from the spark plug, I can pull the pull start, absolutely no fear of the engine starting. I thread the cable over from the inside, round through the loop, release it gently back into the engine, and that's the pull start handle in the operator's position. The next step is to fill your lawnmower with oil. Now I will say that your lawnmower has been shipped to you without any engine oil in it, and it's imperative that you fill it with engine oil before you even attempt to start it. And to do that, the oil is put in through this dipstick and oil filler plug combined. You rotate it anti-clockwise and you will hear it click and then you can withdraw the dipstick. You will notice that on the bottom of the dipstick is the letter L and the letter H is on the top, L for low, H for high. In between these two areas is a cross hatched area. The oil level you were looking for is at the top of the cross hatched area but not covering the letter H. The oil you'll need will be 1030 or 1540 motor oil and from a suitable container you can pour it into the filler neck thus. Fill it gradually in small steps and allow time for the oil to run down the filler tube to the very bottom and get into the engine before testing its depth. If you just pour the oil in and go in too quickly, you'll just be measuring the oil that's in the plastic tube and not the oil level in the engine. So allow it plenty of time to drain down and keep topping it up. Measure it by just placing the dipstick down against the plastic and pulling it back out and checking against the lines. When it's at the correct height, replace the dipstick and turn it clockwise until it reaches resistance and check that it's tight. Once you've done that, that's your oil filled. And the next step is to put fuel in the lawnmower. The fuel filler is here on the left hand side of the engine. It turns anti-clockwise and will come out so far and is withheld by a nylon um, brace. Fresh unleaded petrol. The fuel tank capacity is one litre. One litre will fill it to the correct level. Don't overfill the fuel tank. Your correct level needs to be well below, probably an inch below the top of the filler neck to allow room for expansion. Never fill the lawnmower with fuel when the engine is running and never fill the lawnmower with fuel when the engine is hot. Allow it time to cool down to avoid, avoid any risk of fire. Okay, so once you've filled it up, replace the filler cap, screw on clockwise, nice and firm, make sure that it's tight and that's your fuel filled. Prior to starting your lawnmower, you will need to prime the carburetor and this is the primer bulb. If the lawnmower is stone cold, three to four pushes should do. Like so. If it's been started in the last hour or so and it's still fairly warm, you may find that just two pushes will do. If you've just turned it off to empty your basket or to go for a cup of tea, something like that, then you probably won't need to push the primer. So when the engine's warm, you don't need to push it for a cold start, three to four pushes. Having primed the carburetor if necessary, you then need to pull this handle back. Now this is what we call the OPC handle or the operator present control. When it's pulled back, it enables the lawnmower to be started and once started it will continue running until this handle is released. So you pull this handle back, you've already primed it if necessary, and then pull start with the pull starter. The engine will then run, and when you wish to stop the engine, release this handle. When the engine is running and you've pulled this handle, to engage the drive, pull forward the rear handle. To disengage the drive, let go of the rear handle, and to stop the mower, let go of the front handle. So at any time, if you let go of the handle, the mower will come to a stop and the engine will stop. And that's how to start your lawnmower. To fit the mulching plug, lift up the rear flap and insert it in the rear of the lawnmower. 
it will locate firmly and let go of the flap. To remove the mulching plug, lift up the flap, squeeze the barb on the handle and pull it up and out of position. Into it locates firmly and squeeze the handle to remove it. And that's our defense and remove the mulching plug. To fit the catch basket, there are two lips on the top of the basket and two hooks on the black plastic top here. To fit the basket, simply hook it over the top, let go of the flap and it's fitted. To remove it, raise the flap, lift it up and out of the way and straight back in. Simple as that. Under this flap is where you fit your side discharge chute. Ensure that the mower engine is not running when you lift this flap as it will give you access to the rotating blades. On the top of your side discharge chute there are two slots. You can lift up the flap. The two slots simply slot onto the hinge there and that holds it in position. The spring of the flap cover holds the discharge chute in position. So simply off with it, in against the hinge with the two slots, in position and that's it. It's very, really quite simple to fit. Your lawnmower has a single point height adjuster which is this handle here. To adjust the height of all four wheels from the single point, pull the handle outwards away from the mower, forwards will lower it, and there are multiple positions in between to raise the lawnmower. So that would be for cutting very long grass. If you're on very short grass, you could use it in that position. So that's your single point height adjuster. For more information on this or any of our other products, Visit HyundaiPowerEquipment.co.uk I've been Adrian and happy mowing!